Hi everyone, my name is Jess and today yet again I'm going to do another unboxing with you and today we are going to unbox the Dell Premier Wireless Keyboard and Mouse and I believe it is multi-device. Alright, let's go ahead and get started. All right, everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button below. It would help me out a lot. I'm trying to get to 2,000 subscribers by December. I know I can get there. I am so close, thanks to you. And if you know someone that would enjoy these types of videos, feel free to share it as well. All right, I am going to dive into it. You know by now that I love to unbox technology. It doesn't really matter what it is. It can be as you know, boring as a keyboard and mouse, but for some of you, you wanna check this one out just as much as I do. And let's just go ahead and get started. So here it is. It is a lovely box. It does say here, 36 months battery. That is quite impressive. Um, and, and this is what it looks like. All right, so here on the back of the box, it does say, um, looks like it, it can connect to three different devices, one with the dongle and two with Bluetooth. So that is quite exciting. And let's go ahead and check this out. Okay, let's go. Oops. All right, here it is. So again, it's very simple, just like every Dell box I open. There is not an, a, a ton of plastic. It is mostly cardboard. There looks like there's some foam on the end. And actually, I am wrong this time. There is a plastic holder, which is not like Dell. I'm sure there's a reason why they did that this time around. Oh, here's the mouse. And this uh, little foam packaging here. Okay, so I will just put that aside here. Okay, so there is some plastic on the back, nothing on the front, which is surprising. And it is a lot heavier than I imagined. Very nice, way nicer than my plastic keyboard. Let's see what else is here. We have three batteries. So I guess one is for the mouse and one is for the keyboard. All right. Some instructions for use and like always, going to remove this plastic nothing is in the bottom of that box could be a nice box for Christmas they're not going to get this but could wrap it in <laughs> all right here we go there is the keyboard on off switch I'm really wondering if someone got this prior to me because there is some crumbs inside the plastic. So again, this might be a demo unit that I've been given. And that is where the batteries go. So I'm gonna go ahead and insert those two batteries here. Clearly I'm struggling. You are all gonna test my skills on if I can put batteries in a keyboard correctly. So I think so. Here we go. Okay, here we go. 
it is a really nice keyboard. The keys do feel very similar to the other Dell um, standard wireless keyboard that I do have, but I think because this is made out of metal, it feels really good. And so there's very small lights here on battery life, uh, Bluetooth connection if you want to swap the connection there, and dongle. I did not see the dongle, but let's just see if it is in the mouse here. So, yes, there we go. There's the dongle. All right, so the battery goes in here, push in dongle for storing or traveling. If you want to travel with this mouse, you can easily put the dongle in there um, or you can connect by Bluetooth. I like to connect by Bluetooth. I don't like these extra dongles always plugged in to my computer. It takes up USB and I'm already maxed out on USB even with the dock. So I'm going to store it in there and I will connect by Bluetooth if it lets me. Here's the on and off switch. It is very basic. It, it's quite nice to hold, but again, when I'm used to, and let me tell you here, the Logitech mouse, there is not a better feeling. I'm sorry, Dell, unless you make a mouse like this, it's not as comfortable as the Logitech. But again, this combination looks really, really nice on the desk here. Um, can't complain. So I'm gonna go ahead and set it up for you, show you how quick and easy it is to switch devices. And here's that content now. Okay, so firstly, I tried to connect the Bluetooth with my new mouse and I did have some difficulties. Maybe it was my computer, maybe how things were set up, just trying to locate the actual device. So you know that you need to hold down the Dell mouse button, but I think because I had a dongle already plugged in from my old monitor, it wasn't picking up the Dell mouse. So what I actually did, instead of connecting by Bluetooth, I just swapped the dongle with my old keyboard and mouse and replaced it with my new one and then it connected really really quickly all right now look at this this is super stunning it's a beautiful keyboard the thing that i can't show you is the weight now this keyboard has a really good weight i love the sensor um little little lights on the right side here's what the legs look like i prefer to not use the legs but when you need to go ahead and i probably will not use this mouse i'll stick with the mouse that i currently have it's just very comfortable on my hand and i'm used to it it will take a lot for me to move off my existing mouse here's the buttons that you can click and for the dongle it would be number one and for two and three it would be bluetooth and you just hold down that button to connect and it's very seamless very quick all right, so thank you so much for watching me unbox this lovely combination here. I do like it, I like the weight. So this was the keyboard I'm used to using. Massive update on my desktop because this looks way nicer, it feels way nicer. Just the quality um, of parts and the materials that they decided to use you can really see that it is a massive step up. And for the price, to have this nice keyboard and mouse that is multi-device and that you can take it on, you know, whether you're using a laptop, a desktop, a tablet, anything that's Bluetooth that can connect, I think that is a great feature. One other thing that I thought was very surprising is there is a three-year warranty on this keyboard and mouse. Um, very interesting that they give that to you. I don't know other manufacturer standard. Maybe that is a standard on a mouse and keyboard. But again, overall impressed. I will now be using this as my main keyboard uh, moving forward. So maybe I'll donate the, the other one. And if you are used to using a keyboard with raised keys, uh, I'm used to using um, a mechanical keyboard and makes that clicking sound. I really like that for gaming, but when you're working and you're multitasking on a Zoom, this is very silent. These keys do not make a sound, and especially if you're working in an office, 
these are good keyboards to have. They're quiet and I do like the feature of being able to raise the keyboard on the side. I don't think I talked about that enough. So it's, it's nice, not bad. I would say worth it. I am a Logitech girl by heart. I've just always used Logitech for probably 12 years, but slowly I'm getting into this Dell peripherals. I really, really like the look on the desk and the feel while using it. If you like these unboxing videos and want to see more, feel free to comment below on what type of review you would like to see next. And if you like this video, feel free to give me a thumbs up and I will see you next Monday. Take care.